And I want to thank our volunteers for the work that they did in helping them keep things going and organized and showing them how to do it. So it was so much fun and thank them for the donations of stuff that they brought in. So that was good. And um, Wheaton. Wheaton. Got to go to Wheaton. More Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> and mustard. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme donuts and mustard. What a combo. <laughs> so uh, this week we're a little more busy. I can tell um, 661 people, 221 or 28 families through the food bank, and then 406 meals through the food bank. And then I uh, just want to do a uh, real quick um, back on the uh, check-in area over here on the food bank. There is a sign-up um, form there for anyone that wants to do a crock pot, crock pot class. It will be held here on March the 21st, and I think it's just for like an hour or so they're going to do. So um, if you want to sign up for that, they just kind of need to know how many people are going to be here for that present for that specific thing. So check it out after service. Okay. No, it's just learn how to cook in a crock pot kind of thing. So, and, and different recipes, I'm sure they'll share, stuff like that. So, I don't know the gist of it. I haven't really looked at it. Not at all, but I did write down the date. <laughs> so, uh, I, think that, I think that part, right? So, uh, the Jesus Parade's coming up on April the 8th. Um, we're changing some of this stuff. Um, yeah. Thinking about doing some different things. Who knows? It may change between now and then. We don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to need probably about 25 volunteers to make this happen. So the whole church. The whole church is going to show up. <laughs> so uh, we'll be here a little early, uh, getting stuff set up, and then writing down. And the walkers will meet us, I believe, at the library at 1:30. Uh, how much time we got? April the 8th. April. And today is the. Twelve okay. well, March, so we got a little time. So, and then the next day is Easter, following day is Easter. So, it'll be fun, um, exciting, and good right. times. Good times. All right. Um, let's see. What did we score this week? That was. We still have a lot of cleaning supplies. Hey, guess what? We get to eat lamb chops lamb today, chops. man. Uh, I know you're gonna have to go. Eh, or you'll like it. Give it a try. Give it Take a try. Oh, yeah, we have potatoes. Yeah. We got lots of nice potatoes. In the box. In the box. Uh, cleaning supplies. Bathroom. Take a box. Yeah. Take one, take a box. It's kind of weird. You squirt it and it's like, it sticks to whatever. It's, like, it's kind of weird. Man. But it works. You know us, guys. It's a texture thing, a visual thing. All right. I love you all. So, uh,. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to play some praise and worship music, and uh, feel glad to uh, come up to the altar. I don't know where these came from, but look at this. We got some beautiful NIV big print Bibles. Man. <coughs> Somebody, please be obedient. Go pray with them. If you need prayer, come on up. I know somebody will come and pray with you. And uh, I love y'all. And we're gonna wing it. I mean, totally wing it. We're gonna wing it so well. Does anybody talk to Shauna? Is she doing all right? No. She no. fell. Chuck, she fell and hit her head, and an ambulance came out of her house. Oh my goodness. Yes. We need to be lifting her up in prayer. She's not at the hospital, but she First off here, you know, we're a lot of new faces here, but I remind of all of us here too as well that my microphone's not working. 
Hello, hello. Check that Hello, 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 we're a God-centered worship team. Well, don't be don't practice to make it perfect here. We practice it to be perfect here for God, and that's it here. So please, please feel free to worship with us here, okay?
Because of 
on the next song. Chuck will be right back.
Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Woo, well, I'm going to have my bride help me read it again because there's a lot going on in here. And uh, here we go. I'll start. All right. And we got to 19 last time, but we're going to read the whole thing and then we'll go through starting at 20. All right. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard and expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of perfume, of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he <laughs> used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, who he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest made plans to kill Lazarus as well. For on account of him, many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. <coughs> Go ahead. For a little bit, baby. Sorry. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. <coughs> they took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it was written, Do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, the king is coming, seated on a donkey colt. At first his disciples did not understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realize that these things had been written about him, and that these things had been done to him. Now the crowd that was with him, when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from the dead, continued to spread the word. Many people, because they had heard that he had performed the sign, went out to meet him. So the Pharisees said to one another, See, this is getting us nowhere. Look how the whole world has gone after him. Now there were some Greeks among those who went up <clears throat> to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in, in Galilee, with a request, Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Jesus replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. 
Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am my servant also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Read a little bit. Sorry. Jesus said this voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment of the world. Now the prince of the world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law of, that the Messiah will remain forever. So he, how can you say the Son of Man will be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light so that you may be, become children of light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. Even after Jesus had performed so many signs in their presence, they still would not believe in him. This was to fill, fulfill the word of Isaiah the prophet. Lord, who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason they could not believe, because as Isaiah says elsewhere, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts so they can neither see with their eyes, nor understand with their hearts, nor turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus glorify, you know, glory, and spoke about him. Yet at the same time, many, even among the leaders, believed in him. But because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue, for they love human praise more than the praise from God. Go ahead, Danny. Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. If anyone hears my words, but does not keep them, I do not judge that person, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I've spoken with condom will condemn them Sorry, at the, the last day, for I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I have spoken. I know that his command leads to the eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. Mm, thank you, Father God, for your word, Lord. Yeah. Let's use this word for the rest of the year. Thank you, honey. You're awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, um, like I said, um, Thank you for you prayer warriors. Last week I made it through 19, man. That was rough. Stupid pneumonia. I apologize for that last week. Uh, thank you guys. So um, we're going to start off in verse 20 and 21. <clears throat> now there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the festival. Verse 21. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida, in Galilee with a request, Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Well, these Greeks probably were converts to the Jewish faith. They may have gone to Philip because though he was a Jew, he had a Greek name. 
They were ready to plead with him to go among them and offer his message to the Gentiles. Man, that just shows us how hungry these people were for the Lord's, you know, the message. <clears throat> Verse 22, Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Well, eventually the request went to Jesus. Although he did not directly respond to their request, Jesus knew as God in the flesh that the divine mission to the Gentiles in his name was about to open up. And you know, something that I do want to just throw in there. This is the last time the Lord talks to everybody. After this, he takes off and goes, spends the last bit of his life on earth with his disciples. And I think that's pretty awesome, man. So, and that's what blows me away. When you're reading the Bible, take note of this. When you're reading it, be thinking, three hours from then, Jesus, they're coming after him. I mean, it, it doesn't really sink into your mind until you really go through it and say, whoa, okay, this is all going down right now, you know? Okay, verse 23, Jesus replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. This refers to the time of Jesus' death, resurrection, and exaltation. Up to this point, Jesus' hour had always been future. Jesus' answer was for the Greeks as well as his disciples. The hour has come is the crucifixion which would pay the price for Adam's fallen race. This statement guarantees the resurrection because Jesus could not be glorified unless he was resurrected. Verse 24, very truly, and remember, when Jesus throws out that very truly, you better listen up. I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Just as a kernel of wheat needs to be planted to produce life and fruit, so it is, is spiritually. People can only experience life and joy when they decide to die to their self-centered <clears throat> existence and give control over to their lives to Jesus. The very purpose for his death was to bring forth life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Verse 25, anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Well, we must <clears throat> be so committed to living for Christ that we hate our lives by comparison. This does not mean that we long to die or that we are careless of destructive or, or destructive with the life God has given, but that we are willing to die if doing so will glorify Christ. Mm -hmm. Whew, times are getting crazy, man. We must disown the rule of our own self-centeredness by laying aside our striving for advances, <clears throat> advantage, security, and pleasure, we can serve God lovingly and freely, releasing control of our lives and transferring control to Christ brings eternal life and genuine joy. I mean it, man. And you guys know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. When you finally let the Lord into your life, you finally get to see real joy. Real joy. All that other stuff that we uh, used to think that was so joyful and so much fun, we realize real quick and real easy how that ain't fun. That ain't no good. We don't want to do that. We want to not do that anymore. We want to be a new creation. And that's what it all is about. When you give your life to Christ, you are a new creation. You are not that old person that did that old crap. You are forgiven. Leave it behind. 
Verse 26. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servants also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Will many believe that Jesus came for the Jews only? No. But when Jesus said, whoever serves me must follow me, he was talking <clears throat> to these Greeks as well. No matter who the sincere seekers are, Jesus welcomes them. His message is for everyone. Don't allow social or racial differences to become barriers to the gospel. Take the good news to all people. All people. Verse 27. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it was for this reason I came to this hour. Hold on a minute. Catching a big old head rush. Mm -hmm. Man. All right. Jesus knew his crucifixion lay ahead. And because he was human, he dreaded it. He knew he would have to take the sins of the world on himself. And he knew this would separate him from his father. He wanted to be delivered from this horrible death, but he knew that God sent him into the world to die for our sins in our place. Jesus said no to his human desires in order to obey his Father and glorify him. Although we will never have to face such a difficult and awesome task, we are still called to obedience. Whatever the Father asks, we should do His will and bring glory to His name. And from the Lord, I know this is not as serious as that, but when the Lord puts it on your heart to do something, get on it. Do it. And glorify Him. And you know, I know it's hard, you know. People um, always say, you know, hey, good job on this, that, and the other. You know, you want to say, oh, give God all the glory. And that's true. We should do that. But you got to eventually go, okay, well, it's the gift that the Lord gave me to be able to do this. And, you know, because I, I talk to people and they do that all the time. And it's like, all right, dude, come on, man. Hey, brother, what's up? Oh, there's a doggy in the window. <laughs> and uh, they, um, and, you know, and they're not really giving God the glory for what the gift that God gave them. And that's the thing, though. We've got to take our gifts that God gives us and use them for Him. And like I say all the time, if your gift is crocheting, crochet for Jesus, man. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Verse 28. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. But Jesus always glorified the Lord. It was glorified at the raising of Lazarus, and it will be glorified again with the resurrection of Christ. The Father answered the Son in an audible voice. This is only one of three instances during Jesus' ministry when this took place. In Matthew 3.17, at Jesus' baptism, and at his transfiguration. Jesus' prayer was not to for deliverance, but for the Father to be glorified. Man, I learned something the other day, and I'm going to just share it on to you. I um, found out, and I never really noticed this before, that um, when God always said something audible, the people that were around, they fell on their face and they were praising God. Well, when the Roman soldiers came to arrest him, oh, so I got to back up. They were true believers, the ones that fell on their face when they heard the voice of the Lord. When the Romans came to arrest him, a voice came from heaven 
and they all fell back because mm -hmm. they aren't believers. Man, and when I heard that yesterday, mm -hmm. the day before yesterday, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. That really, I, I never really caught that before. And then, I'm just going to throw this in there. It kind of went to what I, when I got saved, the church that I was in, that they were always pushing people down. Well, I was like, them people were always falling backwards. I've never seen any of them fall forward. Man, after I heard that yesterday, that, or the day before, that really made me think, man. I'm like, so is that for real? Or are they just screwing around? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave that. Let you chew on that. You guys have fun with that. Verse 29. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to them. The, vo the voice sounded with such power that it was like thunder. The fact that they did hear what was said and did at least understand the words, even though they did not understand the meaning. That's pretty awesome. I would freak out if I heard the Lord's voice. I think I have. I hear voices all the time. And everybody <laughs> <doesn't know what. laughs> you didn't call my name? No. <laughs> but I'm crazy. So maybe maybe God talks to me all the time. And I, you know, I don't know. Verse 30. <laughs> Jesus said, This voice was for your benefit, not mine. This proclaims that Jesus knew that there was no doubt to who and what he was. God making this statement and in an audible voice that all who were there may hear and know. Verse 31. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. For the prince of this world is Satan, an angel who rebelled against God. Satan is real, not symbolic, and is constantly working against God and those who obey him. Satan tempted Eve in the garden and persuaded her to sin. He tempted Jesus in the desert and did not persuade him to fall. Satan has great power, but people can be delivered from his reign of spiritual darkness because of Christ's victory on the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan is powerful, but Jesus is much more powerful. Jesus' resurrection shattered Satan's deadly power. To overcome Satan, we need faithful alliance to God's word, determination to stay away from sin, and the support of other believers. <sighs> okay, we're closing in this one. Because I, I got one more week out of this chapter because uh, there is just so much going on in this chapter. It's, it's awesome. Verse 32 through 34. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Verse 33. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. Verse 34. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Hmm. Well, the crowd could not believe what Jesus was saying about the Messiah. <clears throat> they were waving palm branches for a victorious Messiah who would set up a political and earthly kingdom that would never end. From their reading <clears throat> of certain scriptures, they thought the Messiah would never die. Other passages, however, showed that he would. Jesus' words did not mesh with their concept of the Messiah. First he had to suffer and die. Then he would one day set up his eternal kingdom. When Jesus spoke of being lifted up on the cross, the crowds could not fathom how the Messiah could possibly be killed. They did not understand that he must be killed. They did not understand that he must suffer in weakness in order to be a high priest who could sympathize with our weakness, or that we would rise again and live forever? Ask yourself this question. 
What kind of Messiah or Savior are you seeking? Beware of trying to force Jesus into your own mold. Guess what? He's not going to fit. Verse 35 and 36. And this is going to be the end of the G <clears throat> Jesus told them, you are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light, so that you may become children of light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. <coughs> Jesus said he would be with them in person for only a short time, and they should take advantage of his presence while they had it. Like a light shining in a dark place, he would point out the way we should walk. If we walk in His light, we should become children of light, revealing the truth and pointing people to God. As Christians, we are to be Christ's light bearers, letting His light shine through us. How brightly is our light shining? Can others see Christ in our actions? And I don't know about you guys, I mess that one up quite, quite often. Mm -hmm. And it is hard. Mm -hmm. It is hard to keep <coughs> on the right path. I'm not going to lie. Especially mm -hmm. when you've known so much evil and you've done so much evil that it's just, for one thing, you're always beating yourself up. You don't <coughs> deserve this, you know? <laughs> That's something that we've got to get out of our system. Yes, we don't deserve it, but we have God's grace. And He loves us, man. And He is, you know, going to lift up us out of that muck and put us up and be the light. And we got to be the light for everybody to see, you know. And if you got to put on something phony to to be in front of people, you might be, you might need to pray about that. Yourself, that's what gets me in trouble all the time. I am who I am, so this is what you get. And yeah, I'm going to screw up daily, you know, and you're going to go, man, that guy's a pastor? What? But that's just the way it is. The Lord made me like this. He got me out of the muck that I was in, and and I'm just trying to live for Him. You know, that's it. Just try to live for Him. Forget about you. It's not me. It's not you. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. It is all about Him. And put Him before anything and everything. I know that's hard to do, man, because we love our spouses and our kids, and man... We want to put them above everything, and that's not the way it's got to be. You got to put God just with you all first. Time. Put Him first, and then your wife and your kids, and give them to that to to the Lord, man. Just you know, you don't have to literally lay them down at the altar, but do it in your heart, man. You know, because I had to. Because I love my wife so much. So. Like, huh? Jesus got to go above her? <laughs> then once I got it, then I figured it out, man. But yeah, okay, that's right. So um, just just remember, Jesus does love you. He died for your sins. Believe that in your heart. Believe that everything in you. Believe everything in this. This is written by God, and I don't know about you. But man, I get to watch this stuff come true daily because I watch YouTube. Man, they're finding out stuff all the time that's happening, man. It's like mind-blowing. It's like, how can there be any non-believers? Oh, they're not paying attention. Okay, that's what it is. They need to have the scales on their eyes so they can see the truth. So um, I want to hear some praise reports. I love y'all. Go first. Oh, you first? Okay. Yes. I, I got my water in your face. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes. But, yeah. And everything, I have been blessed so much this week. We did IRS. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. so, you went to them? Yes. I went to Jackson. <laughs> and her yeah. says hello. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She so. said, you guys used to bring your suit. Yeah. So, but, um, I mean, I was so surprised that everything was going right. It's just, it's a big turnaround. I'm so happy. Yeah. Boy, yeah. <laughs> We don't realize how much we love hot water until it's yeah, gone. Don't. Yeah. 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 Real quick, I mean, you're still walking around with soap in your hair, you know? You don't want to rinse anymore. <laughs> Crazy. Anybody else? Yes, honey. Well, this week I got, or well, last week I got a vehicle, so. Yeah. 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 actually just got our plumbing hooked up in our right. house. And so that's been fantastic. And then he went to jail. So if anybody could pray for him, uh, he got us to see the judge tomorrow. But I don't know what happened to my Nissan. Yeah. He it got towed somewhere, and I can't find it. So oh, praise that I find out where that is. Yeah. Whoever's got it would be glad to charge you three or four hundred dollars uh, for it. Especially since I can't find it, and it got towed Friday. Yeah. So it doesn't count. <laughs> it keeps going up day by day. And yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't know where it went to. I that towing it, thing is a racket. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I figured it went to the impound with him, but it didn't. I found that out last night, so yeah. I don't know. That's one so of the biggest that I can find that. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a leader. You know, it's like, oh, let's just no, keep tagging on every day, you know? All right, anybody else? Yes, sir. I, I just want to say that I got two new grandbabies. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one month old and the other one on the way at the end of April. Mm -hmm. And also, my husband's brother, my brother-in-law, is going to be helping us out with sitting gravel <laughs> over in our zone, so we're not driving through the mud all the time. Good. So, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll go. Uh oh, hold on a minute, brother. Oh, she beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I need prayer. Okay. I have a neighbor that lives across from me, and every night he comes oh. across me. Yes. Mm. I've called oh, 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 four times. And they can't catch me for some reason. Sounds like a tweaker, man. She's got a BB gun, so. <laughs> BB gun, all right. <laughs> Put some salt rock in it. <laughs> I'm not resting good. Yeah, I bet. I'm taking more of uh -oh. which I had to do just a few minutes. Jesus, I know God is with me. Yeah. And that's the reason for it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You need to pray for that mean so spirit to go away. And I know the sheriff's thing of the old woman. She well, you live out Crazy. boondocks. Anything can happen out there, man. I got it. Go. You better rough him up, Kevin. Personally, and toss him to that chair. Yeah. I ain't kind of second chance. I'm not with you. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. 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 Where is he? I'll go. go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Yes, Charlie. I'd just like to bless Jesus for our gift. Birthday. Amen, brother. Happy Amen. birthday. Amen. Yes, brother. Way back there, man. Oh, me? The doggy in the window. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey, everybody else, thank you. For those of you that don't know me. I don't know who's been doing all that praying. But be advised, every two years arguing, Dad's finally said, okay, I got you to the point now to where you can get healthy. Amen. 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 Welcome back. Yeah, man. Got to go to my job. We're a service thing, but now 
at the job when I come back, the guy said, uh, let's make a prayer, which is unusual. Yeah. So now every day when we open up, we make a prayer before we open up. Amen. We make a prayer at night. Amen. And they even let me open my Bible to Proverbs. <laughs> and I said it on the day. <laughs> I'm ready to serve you. That's all awesome, brother. <laughs> 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 yeah, what you said about falling forward or falling back, uh, being able to hear from God on the little nuances that are so important. Um, I just realized something. I've always been taught there's three phases of water, ice, water, and steam. Yeah. But I realize there's a fourth. Yeah. It's the electrolysis of water where you get hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah. So you can actually make fire from water. Yeah. Water baptism is as a potter. You go from water to the fire. It's all the same baptism. Awesome. If you're going to have a vessel that yeah. can be filled up with treasure. Amen. Second Corinthians 4, 7, this treasure is held in jars of clay that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of man. So awesome. you see water baptism and fire baptism just Continuation. Amen. One thing. I like that. That's good. Yeah, we got to have you in here for a second. Yes, honey. Mine doesn't sound as good now. I kind of feel like this is it. It's great, but um, I lost my emotional support snake, Lily. Yeah. And I have lots of people praying on it. And I just went and adopted a fur baby. And I got my Jada, Miss Kitty. So she's really been amazing support for me. And, um, I don't overfeed the wet food because you know. Yeah. But I'm anyway, sorry I for just, your loss of yeah. Lily. Lily, I know. But like, you have a ball python for an emotional support animal. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I have a brain injury, okay? What do you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, we won't go there. <laughs> Just happy to have a fur baby. Amen. Anybody else over here before we skip over to that side? Okay. Over here. Anybody? Right. Yes, bro. Lift up my brother, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, welcome, brother. We love you, man. Yeah. Anybody? Yes, honey. Yesterday, we were invited to a PTSD awareness convention where my mom was honored as a hero. Nice. I was really proud of her because 
she's really who has instilled me to get back into the faith and get myself back in church. And ever since I've done that, everything has come my way and exactly how it should have been all along, yeah. you know. Yeah. So thank you, God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That is awesome. Anybody else? Chuck, we yes. need to pray for the people in California. That's for sure. <laughs> my daughter's yeah, not true. there and I have grandchildren. Yeah. Too. We all, most of us out there in California, I'm sure. Blood, blood. Yeah, it's, it's just one thing right after another, man. Yeah. Yes, honey. Praise God. That's good. That's awesome. Praise God. Praise God. All the kids are out of trouble. I like that. Yes, honey. You know, we overcome by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lord. And uh, it's Guys, no longer on Facebook. Today I get to see you in pure person. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I, mean, I'm happy. I thank the Lord for the Facebook, but I can't see it though. I will say that. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes, Norm. I want to thank everyone for wishing me a happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. And I'm still a 15 year old in the box. That's right. He's still dancing everything. I thought we was going to catch a place on fire with them candles, man. <laughs> yeah, the cake fell to the bottom of the lake. Yeah. That's good. Uh, anybody else? Get those. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yes, we can double okay. tap. Double tap. <laughs> yes. Twenty-one years ago, when I got sober, this old fella at the VA was my therapist. He gave me a prayer. And for some reason, it hit me in the dog, so I didn't say it. <laughs> and here's how it goes: God, don't let me see me like other people see me, because I ain't that good. Right. And don't let me see me like I see me, because I ain't that bad. Just let me see me like you see me, because that's who I really am. Good. All right, anybody else for the close? Yes, honey. I just want to be ready to get some art prints and I Bibles, so you guys are welcome to take those. Yes. If you need a Bible, please come take one. And a large print for you older folks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. I'm very happy to see my nephew Ian here in church. Hello, Ian. He's from Oklahoma <laughs> with my brother and my sister and I'm very happy. Yes. They were supposed to leave early this morning. I'm so happy to be here today. Yeah. Yeah. We love you guys. Uh, also, I want to have a phrase report that my, my wife didn't drink too many Dr. Peppers this week. Because <laughs> she turned twenty, uh, she turns twenty-one. Don't push your luck. Man, just hit the brakes. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. Happy birthday. Somebody with a decent voice can sing it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Happy birthday to everybody. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Sir, jump on back to it. We'll show you how to do it. And um, please stick around, eat with us, fellowship. And if you've never tried uh, lamb chops, guess what? Today might be the day you might just step out. They're small, so you know, it's not, it tastes like roast to me. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to close in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this service, Lord. Thank you for the fellowship that we're going to have, Lord. And we ask you to bless the food and let us have a great time and a safe trip home, Lord. And Father God, we ask you to keep us healthy and let us keep our eyes on you, Father God. It is all about you. We love you so much. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 All right, you know how it goes. So if you don't, you better step out of the way.